awareness is like space. Cannot be polluted by clouds, you know. You cannot, you cannot obscure space. The clouds, the earth, the solar system, the galaxies. You cannot cut flow, I mean, you cannot cut space. You cannot burn space. Space is always pure and clean, always there. The nature of space is always pure and clean. So awareness like that. <clears throat> and this way, you automatically eliminate suffering. Why? Because normally, our mind totally relying on outer materials. Form, sound, smell, taste, sensation, five. And even thought and emotions. It's not material, but thought and emotion is also bumpy. And these all phenomena, the form, sound, smell, thought, uh, emotion, it's like always come and go and come and go. Like when you are driving on the bumpy road, because the bumpy road, the road is no good, then you bump also. Boom, 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 boom. Because you are relying on the bumpy road. Of course, you bump. Same if you're relying on the phenomena, which is always changing, impermanence, depending on the circumstances, then your mind is, then your happiness become like stock market. Ups and downs and ups and downs. But actually awareness is like space, it's always with you. So if you can stay with your own awareness, then your happiness not become up and down. If 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 you can if you stay with the cloud, then you become up and down, you know. Some days nice cloud, some day not cloud, some day bad cloud with hurricane or tornado or typhoon, you know. And some days very beautiful, you know, nice uh, cloud. So it's, it changes all the time. But if you stay with the space, it doesn't change. This way what we call, you will achieve freedom of the mind. As I mentioned before, our mind is like flake in the wind. It's always blow here and there. There's no control. There's no, no free. No freedom. And what is the meaning of achieving freedom of mind? For example, you don't want to be angry, but the anger comes. You don't want to be upset, but upset. You don't want to be depressed, but depressed. You don't want to be um, worried too much, but then worry comes sometime, you know. So, what, normally, mind, or, mind almost do the opposite. If you want to do something, but then always try to come the, the other direction, you know. That's the, what we call uh, the, that's the, that's, that's what we call not free. Your mind doesn't have freedom. How to free from that? Only you know how to deal with the mind, how to practice with the mind. Otherwise, if you try to achieve the real freedom, the inner freedom, looking for the outer material things, outer phenomena, doesn't help. So how to achieve this freedom? Through practice of awareness. And then your mind automatically calm, peaceful, applicable, walkable, what we call walkable, pliable. Pliability and walkability. The peaceful, joyful, spacious. These are the experience of meditation, but not the essence of meditation. The essence of meditation is awareness. But, of course, from beginning it's very difficult. It's not only for you, for me also, but as you practice more and more, it's better and better and better.